So for our Bible story this week, uh, we thought we'd start it off with a little bit of a song. Um, so I would get some room, uh, get your siblings if you have any, and get together, get some room between each other. If you can get your parents to do this, that'd be fun. And if you can't, you might be able to get them to videotape you. That'd be fun as well. So we're going to sing a song. I bet you know what it is. All right, you guys ready? Okay. All right. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them. And so are you. So let's just praise the Lord right on Father Abraham and many sons and many sons and Father Abraham. That's your right arm. I am one of them and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord right arm, left arm, Father Abraham and many sons and many sons and Father Abraham and I am one of them. And so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot. Father Abraham had many sons. And many sons had Father Abraham. And I am one of them. And so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Father Abraham had many sons. And many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them. Nice job. So are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Nod your head. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Nod your head, turn around. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Nod your head, turn around, sit down. And I will try to Woo, stop good. the camera be right back. Well, that was fun. Yes, sir. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, now for the Bible story. Uh, mm -hmm. This picks up after we kind of left off last week. So, after Jesus was crucified and died, some women went to the tomb to treat his body. And think about that. They were going to the tomb prepared to touch and clean Jesus' dead body. Pretty scary and a pretty sad job. Instead, when they get there, the big stone that had been in front of the tomb was rolled away from the tomb, and Jesus' body was gone. They must have been confused, worried. Where did he go? But then two angels showed up and said, Hey, he's alive. Why would you look for a living guy in a place for dead people? He told you he was going to be killed and then rise from the dead. The women immediately went and told Jesus' disciples. But did, they, did, did the disciples believe him? Nope can't really blame them. It did seem like a pretty far-fetched thing. Jesus did, not Jesus, Peter. Peter did run to the tomb and look for himself, but just went away wondering because Jesus wasn't there. So right there in the beginning, they weren't sure what to think. But you know what? You know what happened, right? You know what happened? Mm -hmm. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. Jesus was alive. He had been raised from the dead. And we're going to teach you a song about that. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia. My Jesus is alive forevermore. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia. My Jesus is alive. Let's sing it again so they can learn it, okay? Ready? Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia. My Jesus is alive forevermore. Sing alleluia, 
sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive. And we're back. We're doing all kinds of songs today. Yeah. So there were other followers of Jesus who had been greatly affected by his ministry. And that same day, two of them were on their way to the town of Emmaus. It was about seven miles away, and as they walked along, they talked about what had happened. Have you ever walked seven miles? Have you ever walked seven miles? No, I've walked, Have you ever walked five seven miles. Away. No. Run that's, a, that's a lot of time to talk. Um, a stranger joined them on their walk and asked what they were talking about. Guess what? It was Jesus. But they didn't recognize him, because, I mean, think about it. They thought he was dead. But they didn't recognize him, and sadly, they, they sadly told him what happened. One of them named Cleopas asked the stranger, Don't you know about the stuff that happened in Jerusalem? Do you know about Jesus of Nazareth? He was a prophet, said he was sent from God. His words were powerful, and he had the power to heal people. But the chief priests and the rulers just handed him over to be crucified. We had been so hopeful that he would be the one who would re redeem Israel. Cleopas then told them about the women who, well, how the women had found the tomb empty and said they had seen angels who said Jesus was alive. And Cleopas said, we just don't know what to think about this. They still didn't know that it was Jesus himself who was talking with them, and Jesus gently rebuked them, which means he kind of told them off. He said, don't you realize it was necessary for Jesus to suffer so he would be glorified? Cleopas and his companion were so fascinated by the stranger, it was Jesus, that they came near to Emmaus. As they came near to Emmaus, they urged Jesus to stay on with them. But they didn't know who he was. He agreed, and so it was that these two followers of Jesus came to be having supper with their new friend, who was Jesus. <laughs> when the men took the bread and blessed it, they at once realized who he was. Jesus, they gasped. And in an instant, he disappeared. He just went, poof, he disappeared. We should have known him, they scolded one another as they hurried back to Jerusalem to tell the others about their encounter. When Cleopas and his friend reached Jerusalem, they found the disciples were already excited because Peter had seen Jesus and they dragged the two into the room to tell him how Jesus appeared and talked to Peter. He really was risen. Of course, Cleopas and his friend also had a story to tell. They told them every detail of their exciting tale, how a stranger had joined them on the road and scolded them for not believing the resurrection news, and then realizing who this stranger, it was Jesus, really was. The disciples cheered and weeped for joy. As they joined in a prayer of thanksgiving for revealing the truth about the Savior, Jesus himself appeared before them. And he just appeared. The door hadn't opened. He didn't come through a window. He just... Poof, he's right there, and said, Peace be with you. The men were frightened, but Jesus reassured them, saying, Why do you question me? Look at my hands and feet. It is I. Touch me and see. Ghosts do not have flesh and blood. Jesus asked for a bite to eat, and the disciples gave him a piece of broiled fish and some honeycomb. And believe it or not, that tasted good back then. And as he ate, he spoke to them. Believe the words which are written about me. This is what I was telling you. The words which were written about me will all be fulfilled. The disciples had wisdom and understood all he was telling them. You are my witnesses, Jesus said, and I will send power to help you in your ministry. How exciting this must have been, and scary too for the disciples. Jesus was sending them out to spread the news of the gospel. And they would face much persecution as they shared this good news. And persecution means that they would have all kinds of troubles as people tried to stop them from telling about Jesus. Jesus is awesome. 